Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about design considerations for wireless charging systems for electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles. So in my previous videos, we have talked about different kinds of methodologies that EVs and hybrids um, can use to charge the vehicle on the go. And in this particular research paper, I'm going to be briefly discussing and uh, enforcing that idea using the methods described in the research paper. All right, so first of all, let's go on the objective side of what the research paper is about. Well, in this paper, the brief overview is given for wireless charging technology, and this is being used for electric and hybrid, um, and the presented technology is a complete solution, which is including the power transfer, foreign object detection, live object protection, and required communication capabilities. All right, so first of all, the first thing that we ask ourselves is that there are different, are there different types of charging that's available to an EV or a hybrid? Well, first of all, I would like to let you know that general requirements are regulated and are given out for public trial. Second thing is that there are magnetic designs which do complete the charging on the go. The third thing is interoperability. The fourth is parking tolerance for ease of use. Is that we can develop and incorporate this magnetic design in parking tolerance. Fifth is foreign object detection, both metallic and living moving. So basically your car is able to detect when it's coming across a, a magnetic uh, charger or some person who is not magnetic but so it should be able to differentiate between both of those and that's the car uh, EV that's required to do and the last thing is complaints of wireless EV as it moves towards mass adaptation so what's really happening here is that your EV should be moving wirelessly communicating with the different chargers and upon communication and upon successful communication it should do a power transfer from one another so your EV or your hybrid can be charged easily now in the next slide we'll see how this per, uh, action is being indicated with different phases so the first solid is the base alright so the car that's moving it needs to have a proper base in order to have a communication you might have seen my previous video and in that I have talked about a circular ring that is placed in the middle of the road and as your car is passing by or stopped at it the magnetic coil present in the circular uh, manner is communicating with your car and charging your car as long as your car is parked in that area so basically in this there is another technology and developments going on that uh, are also doing the same kind of favor to your EV. This first one is circular, as I've already mentioned. The second is solenoid, and you can see the different shapes as well. And the four, third is polarized. So these are three different uh, objects which work as ma um, magnetic uh, capacitors to your car in order to charge them. And on the right side, you can see different types of car. On the first hand side, we see a 3.3 kilowatt of uh, output of car, which uses a single phase. And the, obviously, you can see as the car progresses from small kilowatt per hour and uh, to a 7 watt kilowatt hour, then a sport car at 20 kilowatt hour, the more higher kilowatt you go, the higher power input it requires so what's really happening that we need to realize is that this circular coil for example if I want to tell you would really really have to be much bigger in size and then not just the same size also the output the V out should be greater than V input and the reason for this is that your car the T factor, the time it takes for your charge, for your car to get charged would be less. So since you're going to be stopping at some point, say this is a road, and this is where the circular or solenoid 
panel is kept whenever your car is parked over here for example say I want to use this whenever your car is parked over here that's when this solenoid is producing V out which is greater than 7 kilowatts so that your car is charging at this good amount of time so since say example 3 seconds is the amount of time you spend sitting here on this particular path and then move on when there's a green signal that's when you can get most amount of efficiency that's you can get from a car when it's being charged with the V out that's greater than the V input however when we try to look at the cars like this which has 3.3 .3 kilowatt and we see that using a higher for example 7.5 to approximate 9.5 kilowatt hour is particular ideal case to use because mostly the average cars are in this range so using this different type of output source and input source into this kind of panels will help the car charge easier with less amount of time which is incorporated in here all right knowing that let's move on to the visualization of how things will work first of all your car will have to have a foreign metal object detection say whenever there's a coin uh, sitting on the road for example it should not act as that coin is a charging pad so if there is something metallic dropped on the road it your car should realize that it's a some metal or some foreign object which it should not misunderstand or misunderstood for magnetic coils this is the visualization that we have is that when there is a road over here and here this is the pathway a solenoid for example can be capped over here and as soon as your car is moving it should recognize that this for example this is a coin and this is a charging pad CP and this is coin so this is something that the manufacturers need to realize in order to make progress in this field all right Knowing all this, what we can say for conclusion is that there are future developments that may also in, uh, incorporate semi-dynamic and fully dynamic charge on the move. All right, so this is what we are focused on. And this will require substantial research and development in investment to make WEVC a commercial reality. And by WEC, we mean wireless electric vehicle charging so this is what we have been accomplishing and trying to accomplish so using this visualization and the theory proposed in this research paper we can further progress on our electric vehicle commodities i hope you like this video if you do give it a subscribe uh, thumbs up and as always have a great day